How's it going, everyone? Equinox Phoenix here, and today we're going to talk about Titans Season 4, Episode 1, titled Lex Luthor. Mm. So, um, the episode star. Okay. The episode starts in a bowling alley. Cool. They're not in. They're not in, um, Gotham. But they're in another city that's not Gotham or any of the known ones. I don't even think it mentions it. But anyway, the they're in a random bowling alley because random bowling alleys are fun. Um. Uh. Apparently, Rachel is uh, very much a perfect game constantly. Uh. And it's 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 actually like upsetting people how like perfect she is at bowling. Uh. But not in like a. I'm jealous, I'm gonna, like, you know, start, like, talking dumb shit, uh, away, but in a, I'm gonna cheat and use my powers to overcome it, and try and match her way, just, <laughs> Garfield literally goes in, and turns, like, octopus arm, and just flips the ball to get a strike, which is funny as fuck, anyway, Bruce calls, um, Dick, and, um, yeah, apparently they're headed to Metropolis to meet Superman and go to Star Labs. Now, uh, Lex, uh, has gotten some magic thingy through the help of a woman's, uh, some woman's help. I don't remember her name. It's not relevant yet. Maybe next episode. Maybe not. Um, anyway, they go to Metropolis. And they go to Star Labs. Now, unfortunately, Superman has gone to save a galaxy, apparently. Uh, a collapsing red dwarf star uh, is going to try and mitigate the effects and whatnot. Um, he's not, So he can't meet with Connor. He does send a letter and says, Star Labs is going to show you what it is we do. You know. <laughs> save the world and whatnot. Um... Now, they've got, like, a new suit for Garfield, a bow staff for Tim, uh, a bunch of cool shit for all the Titans and whatnot, except Rachel, but Rachel's powers are mystical, not scientific. So, <laughs> anyway. <sighs> Shoulder achy. Anyway. Um... They do uh manage to show him like a sea of stars and it shows like where Superman's going. Uh Dick and uh Connor both see this. Um now apparently Garfield had a new suit so he doesn't have to um strip naked in public. He makes a joke about how he has uh, just started to uh, to like it. Uh which what <laughs> Garfield, bro, no. <laughs> anyway, uh as he tries to transform um, he goes into his mindscape and sees this giant tree, and when he wakes up, it's... Oh, the entire morphology lab is, is, is destroyed. Apparently, he turned into a gorilla and a velociraptor and a armadillo and, uh, destroyed the lab. The, uh, the, the gorilla apparently really hated the morphology lab. Anyway, he has a way of this. Um, his powers are evolving. Let's go. Anyway, um, after all is said and done, um, they leave Metropolis on the way out. Uh, magic whammy, uh, the entire, like, oh, uh, on the way out, um, of Metropolis after, you know, finding out that, you know, Dick's Porsche now is upgraded, uh, courtesy of Lex Luthor, Lu uh, not Lex, uh, Bruce Wayne, something about saving Gotham, <laughs> the RVs, uh, I think it's the same, I don't, I don't really know, anyway, uh, but hey, oh, uh, whatever, uh, so on the way out of Metropolis, uh, the entire RV gets magic whammied, um, by Lex somehow, um, and he sent a, a, a message, um, <clears throat> to Connor saying, I'd like you to meet with me, uh, tonight. So Connor's like, turn around, uh, we gotta go back 
it's Lex, whatever. And um, uh, obviously the rest of the gang are like, mm, I don't know about this, man. Anyway, so they go look into Lex, um, into Lex Luthor. Uh, Rachel Garfield and Carter go to the Daily Planet to look up info on him. Uh, for the articles, um. Corey goes to uh LexCorp Tower, and it's funny because uh while she's beating up all of his like guards and shit, this man's just like pouring wine and shit, like he just chill. We find out why later. Anyway, so Dick and Tim are watching from another building. Anyway, during the conversation, Lex goes to a telescope. Um, uh, he's pretty open with it. Uh, Corey sends a weird bug thing into his computer, gets all the data. Uh, Lex goes to uh, a telescope and it says isn't that right Richard he calls out to uh, Nightwing by government name tisk tisk Mr. Luther you're not supposed to call heroes by their government name <sighs> uh, luckily it's not a, a public setting so it's, it's, it's fine anyway he sends ninjas after Dick and Dick's like I hate ninjas anyway <clears throat> Nick and Tim beat up the ninjas, uh, mostly Dick. Um, uh, and he tells Corey he just wants a chance, right? He, he just wants a chance. Uh, so the, apparently Lex, according to the news articles, has started like a million charities, right? Now, um, in the last year, uh, like to the tune of like a billion dollars or some shit, um, which is interesting, but also, um, oh, the, the woman that Lex met with was May, May Bennett. Sorry, I just looked up season four and I saw she's Mother Mayhem. May Bennett, Mother Mayhem. Uh, Franca Potente is, uh, the actor. <laughs> Anyway, um, so then we find out Lex is dying. He's got six months to live. Um, and, um, what's the word? He might possibly want to use Connor's body, uh, blood, whatnot, as uh, a cure. Anyway. Um. <sighs> Uh, so Connor goes to meet him and they have a conversation. He's like, no, I've already tried to use your DNA. Um, I have like a bunch of it already. It didn't work. I'm still dying. Uh, and all he wants is to give Connor some of himself. It is very obvious the Superman half of his DNA and the other half, the Lex Luthor half, he wants, he wants, so, there, he wants something of himself to live on in Connor. And. Um, it's interesting to know, he's like, will you stay? Uh, now, Connor's like, okay. The answer depends on why did you make me? He's like, he couldn't become Superman. So he says his reason, at least so in the Titans universe. Um, the reason Connor exists is is not to overthrow Superman and all of the crazy shit that happens in the comics and in Young Justice and whatnot. In this universe, it's just so that Lex can become both man and Superman in the next generation. Essentially, it's what I can't do, maybe the next generation can, and so he created a son who is both him, Lex Luthor, and Superman, therefore, he is both man and Superman. His dream is achieved. Connor existing is the end goal, apparently. Which, cool. Now, um, we do see uh, Joseph Morgan play Sebastian Sanger um, this episode. And um, he's writing in a thing, in like a notebook. And one of the like taxidermy um, things starts bleeding. 
Uh, so he's like cleaning and whatnot, and then he starts like coughing up blood. Um, both him, Lex, and, uh, and Lex start coughing up blood, as well as um, Rachel starts freaking out. Uh, this all happens in, in in like the same in the span of the same like three minutes, uh, real time, uh, as opposed to whatever it is. Anyway. <laughs> Now, Rachel calms down. Sebastian sees a bloodied version of himself in the mirror and is kind of having a freak out. And Lex seemingly dies. Um, <laughs> Lex seemingly dies. He's at the very least unconscious. He spat out like a like a snake type thing, which Connor eviscerated uh, with heat vision. Uh, the episode ends um, at, with Rachel calming down and Connor seemingly being arrested by Alexis security, um, which uh, is interesting. Now, luckily, we don't have to wait till next week to find out what happens next because episode two dropped with episode one. So I'll be covering that after I upload this video. <laughs> Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Tell me what you guys thought of the episode in the comment section below. That's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you guys haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully without messing up the outro. And as always, stay bright.